Um, What's happening, Boot Junkies? Mike Delgadio here, back with another video on home studio setup for voiceover. And we have a new microphone in the booth so, uh, that we're going to review, so you guys can take a listen to it, see if it might be a microphone that you want to add to your arsenal, or maybe make into your forever mic. Now, this one is the Gage ECM87. Now, I don't know much about this microphone, but when I hear 87 in the model number, I think they're trying to evoke something, and that is they're trying to evoke the sound of the Neumann U87 microphone. It seems to be that you find a, a great deal of microphones that happen to have 87, and it could have to do with the, the capsule that they're using or the circuitry that they're trying to emulate the sound of a more expensive classic microphone possibly the Neumann U87. The, there were two Neumann, there are many Neumann U87s, but there was the AI that they make now, and there's the vintage one. And sometimes the, these microphones will try and mimic or, or, or harken back to one or two of those, those sounds. I don't know if that's what Gage is doing here, uh, but when I hear 87 in a, in a, um, a model number, that's what it evokes for me. Uh, and maybe that's part of what they intend to do. This microphone is made by a company called Gage, and this is the ECM87. Uh, now, this is a, a very uh, single pattern, very straightforward microphone, very high quality microphone. Feels good when you hold it. It's got a good weight to it. When I listen to it, it is just, just dead silent. Just dead silent. But I will say that I do, th it does really feel like there's a really good frequency uh, response to it. I'm going to say that it's, it's, um, it's bright, it's crisp, without being harsh. It, it does seem to have a, a, a bit of a presence peak on the, high end of the, on the high end of the spectrum, so it brings out a good clarity in my voice as I listen to it. But also, I really feel like it, it does really good things to the to the bass in my voice. I'm really happy about the way this sounds. Um, this is a, uh, did I say this? This is a single pattern mic. It's a cardioid pattern mic, so really good uh, for voiceover. Uh, there's no other buttons. There's no other switches. There's nothing like that. No padding, no attenuation, no pattern changes, no bass roll off, no nothing. You would do that either in other hardware or you would do it with um, VSTs, plugins, anything like that. Uh, and the only attenuation is the gain knob on your preamplifier. It's a good looking mic too, man. That's a nice looking mic. Um, the frequency response as I look to it, it on the on the spec sheet, it's got a twenty to twenty thousand hertz. It can handle up to uh, what's it say, like one hundred and twenty eight? Is that right? Sensitivity. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, one hundred and twenty eight dB. So you can get pretty loud on this before you're gonna. It, clip it with the gain set so that's what it can handle before you overload the circuitry itself um, so a really nice microphone oh the cost um, this microphone retails for 298 and i'll have a link to the gauge website where you can buy it it seems to be where i've seen that you can buy it is on the gauge website i haven't found any place else not on amazon but you know they choose to to uh sell it through the, there may be other uh vendors or um uh, other authorized resellers of it uh, that I don't know, but I know that you can buy it directly through the Gage website. Let's do a proximity test. Uh, and if you're if you're new, uh, uh, a proximity test is the tendency for a microphone to uh, change its tone, change sort of the equalization of the microphone as you get closer to it. So right now I am about what is that five inches off the capsule. This is a good you know, speaking distance to it, but sometimes you'll need to get up nice and close to it, or, or an engineer or a director will say, get up there and eat that mic. So you get right up on it and talk right into the capsule, and the mic, some microphones will tend to get bassier, so that the, the tonality of your voice, of whatever you're recording, will get bassier. Um, for a voice, that's often uh, a, a good thing. Sometimes you want it if you're recording music, sometimes you don't, and some microphones are good at it by uh, uh, avoiding the proximity effect, or some will enhance the proximity effect. It's all a matter of what you're looking for. And so I'm right up on this microphone, so it it's up to your, to your ears. Do you hear a difference in tonality? As I get closer and closer to that microphone, do I get bassier and bassier? And I think I do, so this that would be a, a pretty typical thing to get bassier as you get closer. 
Now, I'm trying not to pop the mic. Normally, you would have a pop filter right in front of this. I don't because it would be, you know, right in my vision here. Uh, but I tell you what, for $300, um, this is a great sound of microphone, isn't it? Really super quiet. There's no noise. That thing's dead quiet. But I will say, I really like the, the, the crisp, the clarity. Uh, somebody loaned me this microphone. Uh, somebody loaned me a whole bunch of microphones to test. Uh, and so this is one that's borrowed. But I tell you what, I'd keep this all day long. This is a, this is a good sounding one. I'm, I'm really uh, I'm impressed by it. But it's up to you. It's up to you. They're, not all microphones are right for all voices. Uh, and But, you know, this one, I would say, this one sounds, uh, it sounds relatively neutral. It's not really super enhancing um, on, on either end of the spectrum. I think it just has a, a nice representation with a good, a good clarity on the treble. Um, and so that's what you, uh, that's what you, uh, it's what you get with this microphone. Uh, and hopefully... It will help you make a decision on whether or not it's the right one for you at $298. Uh, but this is the Gage ECM 87. I hope that helps. Uh, so now go out, grab a microphone, record something amazing. We'll talk to you next time.